For years, illegal bookies in Maryland used the trade results at the New York Stock Exchange or the racing results at Laurel and Pimlico to come up with the daily winning number. The number was determined this way. The last digit in total advances, declines, and unchanged stocks forms one winning number. In this case, it's 730. When the racing results are used, the number before the decimal and the payoff totals of the third, fifth, and seventh races is used to form the winning number. In this case, it's 143. The winning number is then available to anybody who purchases a daily newspaper. Numbers betting was such a big business, the state of Maryland saw it as a way to raise revenue without raising taxes and put the illegal bookmaker out of business. But we found that the state lottery is helping, not hurting Maryland bookies. Play the Maryland Daily Numbers game and you can win $500 on a $1 bet. You play with the illegal bookmaker now, though, you can win 600 to 1. That's 100 to 1 better odds on the same number, and there's no record and no taxes. And you can sit at home and watch the winning number on TV every night. Tonight's pick three number, 250, that's 250. There must be thousands and thousands of people playing the number, and they all know where they get their results from, so I'm sure the police know themselves, and all the state officials and legislatures and everybody else knows being done. Richard Pitamonti was a numbers banker for the Sam the Plumber to Cafficanti crime family, a crime boss based out of New Jersey. He ran numbers all along the East Coast. At 729 every night, except Sunday, the state has a lottery that's uh, posted on TV, that balls are drawn on TV and a number comes out on TV. So a few years ago, the illegal bookmakers decided to use this same number for their own operation because uh, their business was falling off a little bit. And they had a sort of a crude way of uh, giving out the number. It was taken from the mutual handling at the racetracks years ago. And sometimes people were always saying that the number was changed or, you know, before it was printed in the paper. So this was a foolproof way to prove that the number that comes out is the number that's paid on. You can't change it. You can't dispute it. Whatever comes out, that's the number. And uh, to increase the illegal uh, business, they decided to pay, instead of uh, what the state pays, 500 to 1, the illegal number operators decided to pay 600 to recoup some of their business. And it turned out very profitable because people now play with the illegal bookmaker and go home at night and watch their uh, number come out on TV, just like everybody else. The state-run lottery and the illegal all pay off on one number. And the Baltimore police say they're aware that state number is being used. We do seize evidence uh, on a regular basis, and uh, the illegal lottery uses the legal number the TV number uh, for their illegal purposes. They say that's happening, but I don't know that. I don't, I don't play with illegal. I mean, when I play, I go to the machine, but I'm sure there's a lot of people out there betting the illegal numbers. If we caught them, I'm sure they'd do something to them, but how can we catch them? I mean, if, they, if the law has to do that, if they catch them doing it, then they could do something to them. But the state is, is, runs a legit lottery. The state numbers game is legit. The irony is that now the state of Maryland is an unwilling partner with those that run the illegal lottery business. Les Coleman, New Scene 2. The state lottery is helping, not hurting Maryland bookies. Play the Maryland Daily Numbers game and you can win $500 on a $1 bet. You play with the illegal bookmaker now, though, you can win 600 to 1. That's 100 to 1 better odds on the same number, and there's no record and no taxes. And you can sit at home and watch the winning number on TV every night. Tonight's pick three number, 250, that's 250. There must be thousands and thousands of people playing the number, and they all know where they get their results from, so I'm sure the police know themselves, and all the state officials and legislatures and everybody else knows being done. Richard Pitamonti was a numbers banker for the Sam the Plumber to Cafficanti crime family, a crime boss based out of New Jersey. He ran numbers all along the East Coast. And the Baltimore police say they're aware that state number is being used. We do seize evidence uh, on a regular basis, and uh, the illegal lottery uses the legal number, the TV number. They say that's happening, but I don't know that. I don't, I don't play with illegal. I mean, when I play, I go to the machine, but I'm sure there's a lot of people out there betting the illegal numbers. If we caught them, I'm sure they'd do something to them. The state numbers game is legit. The irony is that now the state of Maryland is an unwilling partner with those that run the illegal lottery business. Les Coleman, New Scene 2.